car was there, but your bell doesn't work. So I came in through the window. What were you doing? I was worried. Sleeping. Why are you still in bed at two in the afternoon? You're never gonna recover if you just keep moping around. Activity is the greatest cure-all. Believe me, I know. After Teddy died, remember how I couldn't get out of bed? But I fought it. And that's what you have to do now. These sheets are a little grungy. Get up and I'll pop them in the wash. I don't want my sheets washed. I'm an adult, for Christ's sakes. Darling, why are you so on edge? On edge? Maybe because you broke into my house and set off my alarm? Or maybe because you seem to take special pleasure in nagging me, telling me to sleep less, eat more, do this, do that. You know what's wrong with you? No. no but go ahead and tell me. I'm sure you will whether I ask you to or not. You're still holding on to your pain. You're refusing to let go. It's like you're taking some kind of perverse pleasure and rolling around in your own misery. You have got to move on. Just let go. Let go? Yes, let go. Has there been one day, one single day since Teddy died that you haven't mourned him? Did it ever even occur to you that maybe I was sad too, but I had to refrain from showing it because your despair was just a bottomless pit? I'm not strong. You've always been stronger. I've always admired you for it. I know you don't need me over here with my knitting telling you how to run your life. Don't you see? You're the only thing I have left. And so I guess that is selfish of me. <laughs> 